In this problem, we need to figure out a bunch of things. So we will tackle them one by one. First, we need to find the displacement along the path for each particle at two seconds. That is easy to do. Distance is speed multiplied by time. So for particle A, we have 0.7 meters per second multiplied by two seconds, which gives us 1.4 meters. For the second particle, we have 1.5 meters per second multiplied by two seconds, which gives us three meters. The second part of the question asks us to calculate the position vector for each of the particles at two seconds. To find position vectors, we need to figure out the angle created from the movement of each of the particles. In other words, the angle made with respect to the y-axis. So how would we find that? We could find the value in radians and then convert it to degrees, but another way is to think about the circumference of the circle. The circumference is 2 pi r, or 2 pi multiplied by 5 meters. So the circumference is 31.42 meters. We know particle A moved 1.4 meters. We also know that a circle is 360 degrees. So if we take a ratio, we can write it using degrees. In other words, we can divide 1.4 by 31.42 meters, and then multiply it by 360 degrees. That gives us 16.04 degrees for the first particle. The same process applies for particle B. 3 divided by 31.42 multiplied by 360 degrees, which gives us 34.37 degrees. Now let's look closely at our diagram. We need a position vector from the origin to A. Let's first think about the x-axis. That can be found using sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So we have sine 16.04 degrees is equal to x over 5. Solving gives us the x length. Now for the y-axis. Again, let's look at the diagram. Notice how we can calculate y prime using cosine. So we have cos 16.04 degrees is equal to y prime over 5. Solving gives us y prime. Now to figure out the y length, we just need to subtract y prime from the radius, which is 5 meters. So now we have the y length as well. Now we can write our position vector. We will do the same process for particle b. Remember that since these are position vectors, positive and negative signs are important. Since this particle is to the left, the x-axis component has to be negative since the right is positive. Y component will still be positive since the particle went up. So for the x component, we have negative 5 sine 34.37 degrees. The y component is 5 minus 5 cos 34.37 degrees. Again, we follow the same logic as we did with particle A. If you draw out the triangles, it might help you visualize it better. Now we can write our position vector for particle B. The last part of the question asks us to find the shortest distance between the two particles. The shortest distance can be found by subtracting one position vector from the other. This gives us another position vector, but since we need the distance, we need to find the magnitude of this vector. Solving gives us the shortest distance between the two particles. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies.